In this video, we're going to look at the file and alt tag renaming function in Crushfix for Shopify. In order to do that, I've set up a new product in my uh, Shopify demo store here. It's called Small Black Backpack, and I've already set some of the properties, including the title, the description, the product type, in this case backpack, the vendor, Space Squirrel, and I've also added an image, as you can see here. I'm just going to show you that image on my desktop. This is the actual image I uploaded, and you'll see that the file name itself is a whole bunch of random numbers, seemingly, followed by the .jpg extension. Uh, that's really very undescriptive, and uh, that's something that this function in Crushpix will help us with. Okay, so I'm just going to go back to my store. I'm also going to show you here the alt text. The alt text is the alternative text. This is used by screen readers and search engines to better understand the image uh, in your web page. So um, let's give this, uh, let's call it small black backpack. So the more description we can add to our product images, the better things like Google and other search engines will understand them, and therefore, hopefully, they'll be more discoverable in things like image searches. As more and more people out there use image search to discover new products, this is a really, really important thing, and easy, in actual fact, using Crushpix, to do to your Shopify store. So I'm just going to click Done. Of course, Shopify does go quite a way to helping you describe your products for search engines. The main way is using uh, the URL. Uh, and as you can see down at the bottom of the product listing, you have this thing uh, called the search engine uh, listing preview. And you can see that it's taken the title from uh, the product that we actually created and it's put it into the URL here. So actually it's quite descriptive. So when a search engine comes across this URL, it will actually have a really good idea of what that page represents. If you want to be more descriptive, uh, you can actually edit that and go in and uh, add in new parameters into that URL as well. But we'll just leave it at that because that seems to do the job just right for us. Okay, so let me click on the view so we can see what uh, is happening there. And you'll see that we've got the, uh, the URL, small black backpack, and that's uh, going to help search engines a lot. We've also added our alt text, and we've also got uh, our description and everything else that we put into the product. But the one thing we haven't got is a very descriptive uh, file name. And actually, our alt tag could actually be helping us a little bit more. It could include other things like the vendor or the actual product type. So let's go back into the Shopify admin. I'm going to click on apps and open up the Crushpix admin. And we're going to focus on the right hand side here, this image rename area. Now, I would like to point out a couple of things. If you've watched any of the other videos, you'll have noticed that we have uh, the automatic flag on for image compression. The image rename function, both for the file name and alt tag renaming, also has this function. And for the purpose of this demo, I've left it off because I want to show you the actual whole process. But when um, you are set up your templates and you're in the flow of adding new products, switch these to on and this will happen automatically for you. So I'm going to click on settings. And I would like to rename the file name and the alt tag. So I'm just going to click next. Now what we have here is what we call a wizard. It's a way that you can set up your renaming template. And it's basically in two halves. We have a define your template and the added tags. So at the moment, these are the tags that will uh, be used to actually make up our file and alt tag renaming. Uh, but I'm just going to click on the little uh, uh, subtract sign there. Just take all these out. Uh, just to show you how this actually works. We do give you a very usable default there. You don't have to use it, of course, uh, but it will work for, for the majority of people out there. But uh, just for the demo purposes, I'm going to show you how this works. So just scrolling down a bit here, I'm just going to show you these little arrows. These uh, allow you to do um, see different images from your products. And uh, here's one. Let's just use this one. This looks like a very, well, relatively undescriptive uh, uh, file name. So what we're going to do for the ACS Crossfire chain, that's a, a bike chain, is build up a template that's going to give our file name and our alt text more description. So let's start off with the product type. And automatically we can start seeing that this is a chain, so it's got a lot more description already. Then I'm going to add the title. Then I'm going to add the vendor and the SKU. 
So as you can see down here now, this file name uh, is actually way more descriptive than the original one we have down here. And this will also, um, this format will be used for our alt tags as well, but obviously be much more human readable. This is uh, intended for, for a file name, hence we have all these little dashes in as well. But I'll show you how that uh, works once we've um, manually uh, changed the alt tag as well. So that's all saved. So I'm going to go back to the dashboard and I'm going to go down to the um, file. This is the image that we added and I'm going to do a couple of things just by clicking on that. I'm going to actually add it to the queue for compression. And once that's done, uh, I'm actually going to click again on the little down arrow here that re uh, reveals some of these quick actions. And I'm going to do two things each in turn. The first one is I'm going to rename the file name. Now we get a dialog box um, which uh, tells us uh, basically a warning uh, that we are actually permanently changing uh, the, uh, the file name and uh, just to be aware um, about what you're doing. So we are fully aware, so I'm just going to click rename file and you'll see that uh, file name section has turned orange and has been renamed. And now that we have the green lozenge, that tells us that it has been renamed. And then I'm going to rename the alt tag. This will go through uh, for the product image itself and change that text. You saw that I entered it earlier. This will now be uh, in the format of the template that we defined. Now that's also been renamed. So we're all done there. So let's go back to our product and let me find that by typing backpack where is it there it is at the bottom so firstly we're going to check that the alt text has been changed and you see that we have the, the the vendor there we have the product type and then we have the title that looks really great that's going to add a lot more description for search engines to interpret our image and hopefully appear higher up in any image search results. The other thing we need to do is go back to our product page. I'm just going to refresh that because obviously we have changed some of the properties of the page, i.e. the file name. Then I'm going to open the image in a new tab. And just to prove that it's worked, I'm going to highlight the uh, section of the URL up here, which is the actual image file name at the top. So basically what we've done, we've added a new product, uh, we changed the alt text and then we've gone into Crush and defined a template that now can be used on all future file renamings and all future alt tag renamings. And the main purpose of that was to help discovery in search engines so that they can interpret our images and hopefully aid us to have better search engine results for our products. Thank you.